Hello everyone, I've got some big news for you today. I'll start with the, the nice short version. I am launching a Patreon. This is a, a crowdfunding service where you guys can donate from as little as $1 a month to help support me in the event. YouTube pay is always a little bit of a scary prospect. There's always scares that it might suddenly shoot down and you never quite know. So it's I'm going to have this as a potential kind of fallback on should... YouTube pay be a little bit random so that I can keep going and making these videos. Also, I will be using the uh, the donations, the money, to help me invest in better equipment. Whether that be computer gear, whether it be recording gear for, for games, or whether that be for recording cameras, mics, etc. for real life stuff. I have quite a few ideas of some challenges and some silly real life stuff that uh, that I would quite like to to be doing. And of course, I need all of the gear and all of the setup for that. So I'm setting up this uh, this Patreon. Um, do not worry, nothing that I do, none of the videos that I make, there is not going to be any sort of exclusive stuff. Everything I make is always going to go out on YouTube for everyone to watch. Uh, but this is just to help me fund so I can do things quicker, can do more, do slightly more crazy things as well. Um, yeah, and after much thinking about all the, the possible routes I could take, Patreon is the one that I I feel most comfortable going down, uh, as it's sort of pretty much in, in your control. If you want to donate, that would be amazing. If you don't, all I've ever asked, and all any YouTube content creator really ever asks, is that you watch the adverts. You know, a 30-second advert for a 30-minute video, I don't think is unreasonable uh, when it comes to, to what this is, since, you know, the, the content's up here, uh, certainly from me, you know, it's twice a day. It's, it's probably around 40 minutes of content every day for you. It's all completely free. All I ask is is that you watch the adverts and so on, but sadly the likes of Adblock are screwing, screwing creators over. But, uh, yeah, I've, I'm doing a Patreon. There'll be a link in the in the description that would be fantastic if if you guys could support me that's that's the short version uh, i am going to go into a little bit more depth uh, now and explain why i have uh, i have settled on patreon if you're not interested then you know you can leave the video now or watch whatever it is that i have going on uh, on the screen Right. The reason that uh, that I went down the Patreon, there are a number of ways for the YouTubers to help increase income and, and diversify the way that they get their income and so on. Problem is, I don't really like uh, most of the most of the options. I'll start with the the main one that you see done, and that is merchandising. Now, of course, yes, this makes a uh, rather rather good sense, but it's not. A route that I that I want to take certainly as a, a smaller a smaller channel such as myself. If you're going to actually be making you know any any sensible money, if, if it's going to be worth your time to do merchandising, you have to keep telling people about it. You have to keep spamming links out and so on. And I really don't want to become a walking advert. I started YouTube because I wanted to make videos about cars doing silly things. That's where I want to spend my time. That's where I want to spend my energy doing that stuff not trying to sell you merchandise, not trying to, to sell whatever random crap it is that uh, that I might get. I don't want to be going down that route. It's a very slippery slope. It's not long before... I mean, I see this everywhere you look on YouTube. The description box of video. You might as well change that to title to advertising box because only the very top of the description box will come up for everybody. Uh, you know, most If you want to see that more information, you have to click the little button to expand it or whatever. The first couple of lines will appear for everyone. Most people use that as an advertising. It's just full of links to merchandise, to whatever company may be sponsoring and so on. I just don't I hate that. I really, really hate that. Description box is to give a brief summary of the video. That's what I'm always going to use it as. I'm not going to... I don't want to be pasting links into into there. Now, I could, you could go... Again, you could say you could go down that trap with a Patreon. You can keep constantly reminding people and, and so on. I'm... I'm don't worry. I'm not, not going to be going down that path there will be links at the very bottom of the description along with uh you know it will, it will come after like links to mods and stuff whatever whatever it might be in the video the, the links to the patreon is going to be at the bottom i'm not going to spam it again i'm not going to spam twitter with it there will be links around maybe i'll mention it in the odd video or two from time to time but i'm not going to keep mentioning it. it's not going to be said every single time I, I do a video and so on it is kind of a case of it's there I will every so often remind people, but it's yeah. I'm going to try my best. Uh, I say I'm going to try my best. I'm I'm not going to uh, to be spamming it. And with the likes of sort of merchandising thing, the, the more you kind of spam people and so on, it, it just it just kind of snowballs and annoys me. So 
That's why I don't want to go down, or why I haven't been going down the, the merchandising route. I want to focus my effort on the, on the videos. And I think you guys will appreciate that. That's what we're all here for at the end of the day. So that's why I have, uh, have chosen not to do that. And it's a very similar thing when it comes to uh, kind of company sponsoring of, of videos and so on. Again, similar story. You, go, you find some YouTubers that their the description box is just full of links to random crap, uh, random websites and so on to buy stuff. That's not what I set out to do. I don't want to be a walking advert, so I'm not going. I'm not going to be, basically. Now, one route, and this is kind of a route that can go down with Patreon if you want to. Not a route that I will be doing is kind of having a maybe like a sponsor status on the forums or Patreon only videos. As I said at the start, that is not going to be the case. There's nothing is going to be exclusive to Patreon supporters only. Now, I know technically, sort of business wise, if you look at it financially wise or whatever, that's a slightly silly move in that there's not as much incentive for people to go and, and support a Patreon if they're not necessarily going to get anything special. But I don't like the way that that kind of fragments the community. If I'm hoping this is all, <laughs> this is all making sense. I don't really, again, I don't feel comfortable going down that route. I don't want to sort of split up the community. The Patreon is a thing that if you guys want to, it's kind of very much the balls in your court, and that kind of, that, I feel more comfortable with doing it that way. If you want to support, amazing, uh, but fair enough. If if you don't. And by having and by not having sort of a, a specific status and so on, then uh, yeah, I think it it works better for everyone. I want all of my videos to be out on YouTube for as many of you people to watch as possible. I do have a couple of uh, of tier rewards essentially. Uh, whenever you uh, whenever you don't know how however little it is, you get access to the the Patreon only feed, which is kind of a little bit like a Twitter feed. I may well post stuff up in there and, and talk around in there as I would on the forums and so on. Uh, so yeah, there'll be uh, some stuff uh, in there, but again, there won't be any uh, exclusive videos for that. And I'm also doing, uh, if you donate over $5, you get a, a name on my uh, sort of versus community card, the orange with the black stripes. I'm going to have kind of people names as sponsor decals on the side of the car. I thought that was a quite cool way of doing things. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, a little thank you. I think it's, for $5, it's got a bronze name, $10 a month is a silver name, and $20 a month is a gold name that will go on on my race cars. And I think, I think that's a, a fair a fair system. And, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with uh, with that one. So there is a little bit of tier rewards, but, uh, yeah, that's the that's the extent of it. So there's got, not going to be any, any hidden content. Now... Another thing that I could do, that I really don't want to be going down, again, I see this done a fair bit, is to kind of spam advertising links to my videos everywhere. It's a way to grow a channel, and it's not a way that I like particularly doing. Uh, I don't know, it might just be me being weird, but I kind of hate going around advertising myself on on stuff. Like, let's take Car Throttle, for example. I, I love Car Throttle. I think it's a great website. Every so often, I'll post up some of the links to some of my, my favorite videos that I've done on there, or some of the ones that I think best fit that kind of community. But I'm not going to spam that website with every single video that I do. I don't want to be going down that route. Yes, you may get more people, and you may well piss people off as well. And I'm trying not to do uh, to do that to do that second part. Uh, so yeah, or you go to forums or whatever, other websites or Facebook pages, whatever it may be. I just don't want to be going down the, the spamming advertising route again. I'd rather be focusing my effort on coming up with ideas for videos, filming stuff, uh, and so on, you know, spending my time doing that, making the more interesting videos than going around and, and spamming stuff. It's just not very me. It's not something that I felt comfortable doing whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, don't want, to be, don't want to be doing that, and I won't be in the future. Now, there are kind of other ways of making videos to kind of help generate views. However, I... When it comes to videos, I want to be enjoying what I'm doing. If I'm having fun doing something, if I'm having fun making videos, the video is going to be better. Uh, at least that's 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 what I think. And I don't want to be changing the format of stuff too much. I like the way that I do videos. And while again, when we're looking at this from a pure kind of spreadsheet numbers wise, there are ways that you could improve, but they're not ways that I want to be doing. I'm not won't be having as much fun. I won't be as happy with the content, so I'm not going to be changing the kind of things that I mean. The first one is, again, another relatively common thing that you will see is sort of cut up videos, uh, sort of, let's let's say you have a, a video that's a 20 minutes worth of idea, and often you'll see it cut up sometimes into, into two 10 minute videos. I've seen people even go down to kind of three uh, short videos, and they cut it up massively. 
Now, yes, overall, by doing it like that, you'll get more views. But I don't really like doing that. I think it's very, very lazy video making when it gets to that. I like having an idea contained in a video. Take the uh, the Manufacturer Cup that went out on, on Friday. I could have easily split that up into three videos. Could have had race one as part one, race two as part two, and race three as part three. And could have made, you know, three ten-minute videos for that. And overall, probably it would have got, uh, you know, more views. But I don't want to be doing that. Particularly, that's not, that's not how I want to make videos as such. As I said, I like having that contained idea in a video. So you get the whole thing, you know, you go all through in the in the 30 minute video uh, with a result at the end. You know, you have the explanation of the challenge, what happens in the challenge and the conclusions, the results, however it may be. And that's one contained idea. I'm not saying I'm not going to come back to that idea, you know, maybe change classes or whatever it might be that we, that we might change it up and, and, you know, have another go in the future. But I don't want to be going down the route of just kind of lazy video making, cutting stuff up shorter and shorter just to try and get more 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 videos more views out of uh, a certain thing i i like the way that i that i do videos hence why i do it and you know, the chances are if you're still here after 11 minutes of me waffling then you probably agree with uh, with that as well so i don't want to go down the route of changing my my stuff up too much just to try and improve those, those numbers on a spreadsheet somewhere i would just rather be making things the way that uh, that i want to be doing them and that kind of leads on to so my next point is going down the whole the whole clickbait line. We're kind of talking about the real arse end of YouTube when uh, when we get to this sort of point, and it's it's a trap that a lot of people fall in as, as a way to, to grow a channel quicker and so on. And yeah, as much as I hate to admit it, this is the way that you kind of grow channels quicker and so on. It's not a thing that I will do. I I have a way that I like to work, and I'm going to stick to it, even if it's technically speaking perhaps not the best way of doing things and yeah you know clickbait stuff is is easy to to grow channels with and when i'm talking about clickbaiting i'm meaning you know kind of the copy and paste news stories i see every bloody where and the minute even the slightest bit of information comes out somewhere everybody quick must copy and paste that information into a video and, and release it in the hopes that people stumble uh, stumble upon it or just rampant speculation um it's again i kind of just think it's lazy video mate it's just lazy we are literally copy and pasting what a website has said somewhere to make a three minute video just in the hope that some people will stumble across, across it. Sorry. Um, it's not something that, that I want to be doing. Again, I want to be enjoying what I'm doing. I want to be creative and coming up with the different stuff with the cars and so on. It's, uh, yeah, uh, it's just not something that, that interests me and something that, that I quite disagree with. And again, with the whole sort of blatant lying that, uh, that I see in video, some of it is utterly shocking that goes on. I've seen stuff with... Uh, people claiming to have a Porsche in Forza 5, you know, they say that they're playing Forza with a Porsche when they're just driving a rough, but because it has Porsche and Forza 5, you know, yeah, people may have stumbled upon it at the time. It's still this arsey, arsey, terrible thing to be doing, but, you know, if you get some more people, it's, yeah, it's a way to go, it's a way to grow a channel, uh, but it's not a way that I'm going to be going down. I can, uh, I can tell you that much. Uh, so, yeah, I'm... Going to be keeping the, the format in the way that the way that I like things to go. I mean, sure, you know, there'll still be still be the series when I'm talking about the, the cutting up videos and so on. I'm still going to have you know, the odd series, the, the car builds and, and so on. But uh, yeah, I, I tried to have uh, a a challenge, a idea as, as a one contained video, uh, not not fall into the trap of uh, of clickbaity, shouty, caps locky, exclamationy marky titles and using complete and utter bollocks to. Uh, <laughs> to try and convince people to watch a video and so on. It's not how I do things, and that's not how I'm... I'm not going to change the way I do things to, uh, to grow the channel in, in that manner. Uh, so, yeah, after, after all of the consideration, the Patreon was the the way that I felt most comfortable going, the way that I I thought best suited how I, how I want to make videos, how I want to do a business, essentially, with all of this so yeah i i was also again going back to the, the sort of the, the patreon traps you can again you can say if we get so much a month i will do x type of video like once a month or once a week or something and i did think about doing that kind of thing but again you get to a point or you can potentially get to a point where you know i've said i'll do a real life challenge a month let's say and it gets towards the end of the month and what i had trying to wasn't quite working and i don't want to get to the point where i feel like i have 
have to do a video or where I have to do a video that I don't really want to do or I'm not quite happy with, I don't want to release that. I, I want to make sure that it can be as good as possible. So that's why I'm not saying I'll have so many videos of, of a type in a month, you know, I'll release one Survivor Hunt a month or, or you know, do a live stream a week or something because I don't want to get forced to do stuff that I'm not really feeling like doing because the content's going to be worse. I always wanted to try and do the sort of stuff that interests me, the things that I'm going to have fun with because I'm going to make the video better if if I'm having fun, if I'm enjoying it. So that's why, again, I mean, when we're talking financially speaking, when we're talking incentive-wise for people to donate, yes, you can go down that route, but I don't want to get myself trapped in a situation where I'm doing stuff that I don't enjoy. So that is my, my reasoning behind all of this. I hope you guys uh, appreciate where I am, where I am coming from with this. I try to be as honest as I can uh, when it comes to this this sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's why I have uh, have chosen to go down the uh, the Patreon route. It would be fantastic uh, if you guys could, uh, could support me. I will absolutely love you forever. If you can, can help support me with this, help expand some of the silly stuff that uh, that I can come up with. Uh, and if not, absolutely fair enough. Nothing is gonna nothing is gonna change as such. Uh, all I ask is uh, is that you that you turn your ad block off for for YouTube for my videos, so that uh, yeah, some of that uh, advertising money would uh, will help out going to to doing this sort of thing. Anyway, that is it for this uh, video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.